Killeen is a place where unbaptized babies and young children were buried in times past in Ireland. Also known as children's burial grounds, these Killeeny are found all over the country, but are far more common along the Atlantic seaboards of the West and South, including here in West Cork. They first came into use around 1600, when church laws decreed that unbaptized people could not be buried in consecrated ground. When the child died, it was taken by its father and a neighbour, always a male, and brought to the Killeen for burial after dark. There was no involvement of the community, no involvement of the mother. The body was in a coffin. The body was laid east to west, facing east, the same as an adult burial, facing towards Christ on the day of his second coming. While the child's body was placed in a coffin, buried facing east and marked with a simple stone marker, as was the tradition for adult burials, the biggest difference was the distance between those rows. In a regular graveyard, these would be six to seven feet apart. In a killeen, just two feet, the size of a baby's body. As well as unbaptized children, others were also buried in Killini, including strangers whose religion was unknown, suicides, and Killini were sometimes used by the general population too. In normal times, there was a rich tradition around the burial of adults in Ireland. However, in times of distress, such as the Great Famine of the 1840s, many were buried in Killini. It was an imperative to bury the body quickly for fear of disease and contagion. So instead of taking bodies to graveyards, they were often buried in the local Killini. We have many such accounts of Killini famine burials in this area. So it was a widespread practice here during that terrible time. An account from the Cork Examiner newspaper reporter Jeremiah O'Callaghan describes a shocking scene he witnessed at a Killeen in Castlehaven Parish in West Cork. I found myself in the centre of a keel, an unfrequented burial place. The unfinished graves were torn up in many places. A coffin was placed on the surface where it lay like a piece of rejected furniture. O'Callaghan described how a hunting party, made up of the aristocracy of that area, approached the Killeen. On their blooded and overfed hunters, did off flew the hare and off dashed the well-pleased horsemen. The hounds, bounding over the fresh graves, then followed the reckless riders flying indiscriminately over graves and ditches, they did not seem to notice the fragments of mortality that lay scattered in their way. Killini are found all around West Cork, most of them now on farmland. Depicted as children's burial grounds on the earlier maps, they are now shown as Killeen or burial ground on the OS Discovery maps. The name Killeen means little church, as some of them are located in former early church sites, which would have been perceived as consecrated ground. But they are also found in other places too, especially in locations that would be most likely to remain undisturbed. Killeeny were given great respect by landowners and still are to this day. This is the Killeen on my Kearney ancestors' home place. There are hundreds of burials in this site, many of them small Kearney ancestors, I'm sure. I was first brought here by local landowner John O'Sullivan, now deceased. John had a great grow and respect for this place, and he and his son Niall planted the perimeter of it with trees to ensure that the stones wouldn't be knocked over by animals. And when John's wife died, he brought the temporary cross that marked her grave here as a mark of respect to this Killeen. John's son Niall is now a fantastic custodian of this site. We, knew, we were aware of it and we were always respectful of it, I suppose, from our father, really. Like, 
uh, if you ever if a stone ever fell off the outside bank or anything they always be put it back and I suppose from the early age we knew then that this was a sacred place like. Many Kalini are also cared for by their local communities and there are several examples of this throughout West Cork. One of them on beautiful Hare Island. This Killeen is the only graveyard on this island in Roaring Water Bay. And while most Killeenie had fallen out of use by the 1920s, burials continued here up to the 1950s. There are several stories about this Killeen that feature in Eugene Daly's excellent book about this island. One of them about a baby found in a box on the south side of the island, which was believed to have been buried at sea. There were two stones in the box to weigh it down, but they were not sufficient to sink it, and it was found by a local boy and buried in this killeen. There are also stories of two sailors who were found on the shorelines of Hare Island, buried in the killeen here. Even though that was quite unusual for West Cork, usually sailors who were found on the shoreline were buried close to where they were found, rather than in a killeen. A community mass is held every summer at this killeen and islanders and other locals from near and afar come together to honour those buried here. Killini are the final resting place for generations of our Irish ancestors and are every bit as important as our official burial grounds. And those who are buried in them are certainly not forgotten.